Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden. It is Monday, yeah, the, a Monday right after the Florida Derby and the Arkansas Derby for sure. And I wanted to put out a quick video to start a healthy discussion among the community, okay, in terms of fierceness. Now everybody know that I love them in that race on uh, the Florida Derby. I believe the Holy Bull was a stepping stone to the Florida Derby coming off of a 90 plus day layoff. Um, that wasn't the target in that grade three race. So that Hades horse didn't mean anything to me. And I won't make a big deal of it or all the people that gave me the business when I threw Hades off the ticket. But the question that I have to you, my community, let's start a classy, healthy discussion. Right now, Fearless looks like the horse to beat in the Derby. Looks like the Derby winner. Okay. Now, this is not a really overly, overly talented group of horses, uh, the top 20 that have enough points to get in right now. But again, this is your Breeders' Cup Juvenile winner. Uh, the Holy Bull Stake race was just a prep off of a layoff. They, 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 were, they wanted the million dollar of Florida Derby. That, that was an easy call. And only two horses that I know of, I think, that have won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Um, uh, I think it's Street Sense and Nycris, right? The only juvenile winners to go on to win the Derby. Double check me on that for sure. But from everything that I see, I know Todd Pletcher, the man in the Italian suits, is very serious about winning a Derby. If not, his owners, Mr. Rapoli, very, very serious. Of course, they thought they should have won it with Forte with the unfortunate events leading up to the Derby. Fierceness is a very, very nice horse. And this group is just not that strong. So my question to you, let's start a healthy discussion. Um, of course, things can change over the next three weeks for sure. We still have five, four or five prep races to go. Big weekend coming up is fierceness. Clearly the horse to beat in the Derby. I would say so. With one caveat. Do not overlook Timberlake. Now Timberlake is the champagne winner. And even though Brad Cox ran fourth with Timberlake in the Arkansas Derby, it's kind of like the Holy Bull race with fierceness. That's not his target. His target is the Derby. So he's Brad Cox is smart like a fox. Okay, you all, if you can get a horse to go into a race that you're targeting off of an off race, you want him to be in shape, you want, and you don't want to crank him that much, right? So he did finish fourth in the Arkansas Derby. To me, just to me, my humble opinion, to me, the Derby is between right now, Fierceness and Timberlake. Now, Muth. Ran a beautiful race, but he's not going to be able to get in because Bob Baffert is limited to being able to get into the Derby. And I think the time has passed, according to one of our listeners, for them to switch over to another trainer. Because Muth is a very, very good horse, but he won't be in the Derby. Doorknock will have to improve in order to beat those top two horses currently. And these three-year-olds can jump and improve overnight. We all know that. See Richie Strike. But right now, it's the man in the Italian suits, mama. Yeah, Fierceness look like y'all, man. They look like they ready to win this thing. And Irad is riding in, in beautiful form as always. But again, the one caveat I'm going to tell you. Don't overlook Timberlake at this current sitting on the April Fool's Day. April what? Because Timberlake's that race that he come out of Arkansas Derby... I still think they wanted to get a useful race in them, and it's by design, because the target is the first Saturday of May. So, healthy discussion. Let's keep it classy. Let's keep it 100. We have quite a few uh, derby preps coming up this weekend. Of course, over there at Santa Anita and some other places and some other places and some other places. We're getting close. We're about four weeks out, maybe five at tops. Is fierceness clearly the horse to beat? going into this year derby in your speed king's humble opinion at this current sitting and things can change looks that way to me with the one caveat 
do not count out the champagne winner. That would be Timberlake. But let me know what you think. Let's start a healthy discussion as always. Keep it 100. Keep it classy. Okay. And for all the people that beat me up for throwing out Hades. I'm not going to say anything. Every, all of our opinions are valid. We just keep it classy and respect each other's opinion. But I didn't like that horse. That's just my opinion. Keep it classy, y'all. 100. Let's talk about fierceness. Looks like our derby winner going in. No, he did not just said it. With the caveat, Timberlake, Brad Cox, and his band of merry horses. That Arkansas race, it's by design. He wants the horse to be tip-top going into the derby. To me, the two leading contenders is Fierceness and Timberlake. Real clear, this is not a very talented group of three-year-olds this year, by the way, folks. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm the Speed King. Of course. Let me know. Have a healthy discussion among ourselves, right? And let's keep it 100. Let's keep it classy, for sure.